Right on. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, we are looking at four tuplets. Four tuplets. Um, uh, it's a good possibility I just made that word up. Um, so, also known as um, four over three. So, four beats. Uh, placed evenly inside of three. Um, another way of looking at that is if you might see something like this, which you do. Um, three, four. Is this sort of grouping. Um, four. So instead of a triplet, it's a quadruplet. Um, yeah, so how to look at that. Um, so maybe if you remember from these previous videos I did on quarter note triplets, eighth note triplets, um, half note triplets, um, in order to subdivide that stuff out and suss it out, um, we use uh, triplet groupings. We subdivide them triplets. But uh, now we're in 3-4 and we're trying to go the opposite direction. We're going to use um, duplet groupings. So we're going to use 16th notes in this, in this instance. So let's... Uh, Let's do that. Uh, again, we're in 3-4. Let's set up a bunch of 16th notes. 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, E, and a. Uh, right. Um, here's our 16th notes. Uh-huh. So what are we going to do? We're going to split these into 4. Uh, 3, so 4, 8, 12. Um, Right how you split it into four, it's a, it's a group in threes. Alright, so here is one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Um, you know, I mean, when you do this, it's just like, ay, 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 Um, It's really as straightforward as that, right? So these are where th this is this four tuplet grouping. Those are those quarter note four tuplets, what did I say? Quadruplets. Um, that's where they that's where they fall. So uh, let's see if we can count through this. Uh, we got this three four thing going. Um, two, three, so we can say 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 1e e and right that's where they're that's where they're falling 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and uh and when are they falling? They're falling on that one. On that one. On that one. On that one. And on that one. These are little arrows. Dig it. Uh back to black. Alright, so it's one E and a two E and a three E and a one. I'll speed up to and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and that 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 one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four right we got this three and here's our four happening. Uh, if you can hear him tap my foot, threes. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
four, and that is going on. One e and a two e and a three e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I really hope that makes sense to you. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, just start out with a nice and slow, te- nice slow tempo, and uh, make sure and and start out. Um, go through that process of thinking of them as sixteenth notes, and you know where they fall on one and a two e and a three e and a, and just speed them up. See if you can tap your foot in threes, snap your fingers in four, clap your hand in four, play your instrument in four. Um, switch them around. Um, yeah, so that's how you that's that's how you do that. Uh, good luck. All right, bye.